Good afternoon, I'm Jenny Carter. This will be an abbreviated version of News 19 at noon and of course the news that so occupies our minds at this moment. The tragedy this morning aboard the space shuttle Challenger that happened one minute, 12 seconds into the liftoff. Here at News 19, we've always covered the shuttle liftoffs live and so it was with no feeling of anything but a normal average liftoff that we did introduce our NASA satellite coverage just 30 seconds before the Challenger left the ground for the last time. Plan for 8.38 this morning, but the countdown is now in the final moments. Let's join the NASA coverage from Florida. Record mode. Coming up on the 32nd point in our countdown. T minus 30 seconds, and we've had a go for auto sequence start. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. T minus 21 seconds, and the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. percent three engines uh, running normally three good fuel cells three good APUs velocity 2257 feet per second altitude 4.3 nautical miles downrange distance three nautical miles engines throttling up three engines now at 104 percent challenger go and throttle up Roger, go and throttle up Seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Again, that was the way it looked as we watched live this morning when the Challenger exploded and went down in flames just a minute 12 after takeoff. This was at a point when the astronauts were beginning to throttle their engines up to a maximum thrust after they'd been throttled down to reduce the force of gravity during liftoff. Well, Marshall Space Flight Center is buzzing with concern right now. Technicians at the Huntsville Operations Support Center, known as HOSC, review the data transmitted from the shuttle and Kennedy Space Center. But so far, NASA is declining any comment. The Huntsville Center is referring all inquiries to NASA in Washington. We've learned there's concern at the Huntsville United Space Boosters operation. That's where some of the rocket boosters are rebuilt. But again, there's no formal comment from the Huntsville Office of United Space Boosters. However, Tammy Lawson is standing by live at the Alabama Space and Rocket Center with some local reaction to the tragedy. Tammy? with several employees of the Alabama Space and Rocket Center where of course the mood here is very somber. Several of the employees as well as the tourists were watching on the live monitors. Uh, they do have live satellite transmission uh, from NASA and um, uh, Chuck Gusky, who is a technician here at, at um, the Alabama Space and Rocket Center, you were here with several of the employees as well as the tourists. Tell me what the mood was and how the reaction was here. Well, I was watching with Todd and one of the other employees on, a, on another monitor we have, and, and of course when we saw it, uh, I couldn't say anything. I realized what apparently had happened, and Todd said, my God, it blew up, and uh, we sat there and could hardly say anything to one another. Were there tears? Were, were, how was the emotion here? Well, I, I almost had tears, but you know, I felt 
for the, the astronauts on the shuttle, of course, and uh, Todd was, I think, pretty shaken. And of course, Todd aspires someday in the future perhaps to be an astronaut. And I don't think it's, uh, Todd, you are hoping to be an astronaut in the future. Does that, does that change your dream, or does that, how does that make you feel? It doesn't change my dream. It, it hurts to know that seven of the crewmen did die, and it's, it's shocking. It, it shook me up a bit. And Betty Scott, excuse me, you were, you were with the tourist. How did the tourist react here at the Alabama Space and Rocket Center? Uh, first disbelief, and then shock, and yes, there were tears. And several people were here to see the launch here at this monitor, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Okay, thank you. And Charles Vick, have you heard anything from NASA? Have you guys gotten any official response yet? No, we have no official response because I don't think NASA even knows the answers yet, and it sure would be irresponsible to speculate at this point. Um, in any case, I know I was at Marshall and didn't even know about it until I walked in here. It was a very sobering uh, atmosphere to walk into. So I knew something had gone wrong. Okay, thank you all very much. And um, I know that the mood here is very somber and, and um, we do we do feel for you all. Um, of course, we have a crew out at Marshall Space Flight Center right now getting reaction out there. There, of course, has been no official response from NASA or anyone, but um, we do ha hope to have more for you tonight at 6. This is Tammy Lawson live from the Alabama Space and Rocket Center. Thank you, Tammy. We appreciate that. And again, uh, before we finish this abbreviated newscast, let's take a look at the way the shuttle looked this morning in slow motion during takeoff. Again, there's no way to describe the way we felt as we watched that live this morning. Of course, needless to say, we're not going to bring you the rest of our usual newscast. The story is too important. We're going to stay live with the story with Network. So we now return you to CBS Network for more. Thank you for joining us.